This is a story that we have been talking about all throughout the morning. Uh, this involves that deadly shooting over in Half Moon Bay, California, that is outside of San Francisco here. I do want to bring in Fox 2 San Francisco's Ali Rasmus to bring us more from the scene here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, good morning, Josh. Yeah, just to give uh, uh, viewers a sense of where Half Moon Bay is, it's about an hour's drive south of San Francisco. It's a pretty tight knit coastal community, and it's really one of the last uh, rural agricultural communities uh, this close to the Bay Area's urban center. So there's about 13,000 people who live in Half Moon Bay's city limits. A lot of folks know each other, and the victims of this shooting that happened yesterday are all farm workers, according to sheriff's officials. Uh, the way that the gunman in this case was apprehended is really quite unusual. It, there is video of it. I don't know if we have it to show you, but just to describe, we're at the Half Moon Bay Sheriff substation, and the gunman here was after the shooting, after he had shot and killed seven people at two different locations, drove his car here and just sat and waited in his vehicle and a sheriff's deputy uh, eventually spotted him and recognized him and San Mateo County Sheriff's deputies calmly got him out of the car and arrested him. No guns were fired uh, and that man is in police custody. He's identified as 67 year old Chun Li Zhao of Half Moon Bay. Uh, this started around two in the afternoon when San Mateo County Sheriff's got a call about four people at a mushroom farm and nursery off Highway 92 shot to death. A fifth person was also shot and seriously injured and is at Stanford Medical Center. Then shortly after that, a second call came in about another shooting at a soil and trucking business, also in Half Moon Bay. Three people were shot and killed at that second location. So uh, two California communities, Josh, in uh, just a matter of days affected by uh, a mass shooting and a tragedy. Again, this is a pretty tight knit community here. So uh, there's a nonprofit organization that works directly with farm workers in this community. And they are the ones who've been sort of managing at this point, financial donations is what are needed because there are people who live not just work, but live and work at those two farm uh, sites where the shootings, the two separate shootings happened, where people uh, were shot and killed. They witnessed what happened. They saw the shooting. They can't go back to work because those two farms are now still active crime scene investigations. And so uh, now we just spoke with the city manager here in Half Moon Bay, and they're actively trying to get more donations and mental health services uh, to the other farm workers who witnessed what happened and uh, get them and their families some help here. Josh. And just like in Monterey Park at this point, the big question is going to be the motive here in this shooting. And at this point, we really just don't have a clear answer. Right. Uh, San Mateo County Sheriff's deputies say that they don't know the motive for the shooting. They don't know why this one man who they say acted alone uh, went out and did this. And there is some uh, indication that he may have worked at one of the farms where he uh, targeted some of the victims, where he went in, and shot some of the people there. So that is a connection that they're looking into. But uh, we are hoping and waiting for more updates from investigators today on the motive in all this. All right, Ali Rasmus there with our Fox 2 San Francisco team. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll be in touch to get the latest info.